What's up guys this is Karan here welcome back to Tech Karan YouTube channel this is Oxygen OS based on OnePlus 6 which is available for Redmi Note 9 Pro which is Cortana this is not a mere tool build you cannot install this on Redmi Note 9 Pro Max or Poco M2 Pro or these kind of devices only available for Cortana this is a ported room which has a lot of cool features this is a OnePlus base room so yes it is one of the coolest rooms out there in this video I'm going to share with you which other things you get here and if you want the installation video that's a little bit of difficult kind of thing because it's a fast boot way to install this build you need PC for that and for this I will try to make a separate video on the installation now let's find out which other things you get here Guys, this is the Oxygen OS build. So yes, Oxygen OS OnePlus launcher pre-installed, which is a very interesting thing. Let me show you by going to about. This one is the OnePlus launcher latest 4.7.3, which has all the main features. You can update these apps from the Google Play Store also if you want to. We have the OnePlus icons. And if you go to the home settings, we have a lot of customizations available too. Like add icons to home screen, swipe down to access and notification and quick settings. We have the shelf option available too we can customize the launcher layout also if you want to we have the drawer option where you can choose like all apps or quick search there are a lot of things to customize on your device with this launcher we have the option to customize your icon pack and the home screen layout hidden space a lot more extra features some premium features as expected swiping right we have the oneplus shelf option available which looks interesting we have the never settle option available there looks kind of really really interesting and oneplus experience in this build in this device looks very very impressive till now till it's a ported room so yes little bit of bugs here and there you might get but this is not a big issue because the major bugs include the wi-fi and the mobile data bluetooth a lot more these kind of things and these are things perfectly fine here i'm using my primary sim here so no issues here and there i'm using the mobile data i'm using the bluetooth i'm using the wi-fi a lot more things everything is perfectly fine without having any issues so there are no issues for me here if you go here and if you go for these options we have the wallpapers which and home screen if i go for the wallpapers we have the shot on oneplus option available where you can check out all these wallpapers shot on oneplus looks very interesting and by the way the room is quite smooth i'm using it from some time i didn't got any issues at all if you update your oneplus launcher you will see these kind of features like the search icon here other things include all the app icons look interesting and also you can enhance your colors with this app called saturation uh, the link for this video is also in the description i just made this video today so you can go and check it out if you want to other things which we can do in this build is first of all one of my favorite things out there is this oneplus camera that is very very interesting if i go and click the photo and if i go and check out you will see shot on oneplus by tech current like this which looks really really interesting that is one of my favorite features out there and that's why i personally liked about this build oneplus camera available with shot on oneplus which you can shot which have the watermark option available this is a camera might have some little bit of features missing or some features might not work for you so you have to check out if these features you want or not but there are no worries at all because we have gcam as expected available so you can use gcam also also if you want to with a camera mode portrait mode video mode almost everything is perfectly fine in this gcam if you want to try out this gcam the link for this gcam is also in the description you can go and install this gcam right now on a device other things we have all the oneplus apps available like the gallery the file manager contacts etc let me show you in file manager you will not see your sd card files here because oneplus devices does not support sd cards so yes as expected these are not available available here but if you go to the storage option you will see your sd card available here so no issues here at all if you go to the categories option you might not see your sd card files here and there but you can see the available storage yes i have the sd card storage detected so no problems here at all a little bit of things are missing because of the oneplus os which is called oxygen os so no worries here and there 
Google Duo is also pre-installed including that we have the OnePlus game space option available looks interesting by the way OnePlus messaging apps looks interesting too we have the Google Photos pre-installed OnePlus Styler looks interesting too in my case Volti is not working not sure in your case I'm using the Airtel Volti so that's why maybe a little bit of issue talking about the Geo Volti not sure about that I don't have Geo SIM at all other things are perfectly fine here we can use if if you want to use this room use this right away without having any issues if we go to the magic i'm using the latest magic v21.0 so no issues here at all you can use the magic you can root your device if you want to and use all the rooted apps whatever whichever you want to use on your device Okay, let's talk about some features in settings which you get in this OnePlus Oxygen OS build available for this device. We have a lot of features including the Wi-Fi and internet where you can adjust these kind of things if you want to. And if you go to the display option, here you have the adaptive brightness option available which is perfectly fine, no issues here at all. Also, you can calibrate your screen. You can choose the vivid colors, natural color or advanced colors. By default, it will be at vivid color but you can use the natural ones if you want to or you can use the advanced one also depends upon you whatever you want to choose srgb display p3 a lot more things are available vivid is perfectly fine here natural is perfectly fine here not even tried about the advanced colors you can go and check it out and these kind of things you can do if you want to try it out in my case natural colors are perfectly fine so no issues here at all we also have the notch display option available where you can hide the notch area you can show the notch area i have not tried it by the way and it's not working fine or it's not working fine right now maybe after reboot but i have not tried it i will choose this show the notch area because that looks perfectly fine especially in redmi note 9 pro apps to display in the full screen we also have the vibrant color effect which looks very interesting and after using these devices like oneplus you will definitely use vibrant color effect that looks interesting and really really interesting i will definitely choose this feature that's why i'm using this reading mode night mode as expected available ambient display has a lift up display feature which is not perfectly fine here which is a bug kind of a thing dark theme also which is a bug i'm gonna share with you so stay tuned for that also font size blink light status bar and a lot more things which you get in display option if you go to the customizations and if you go to the preset theme we have the nuance dark and vibrant tints if i gonna choose the nuance dark option and if i choose apply option here right now this will not work this will not choose the fully dark mode as you can see it's working but you can see settings are still in white mode so no dark mode here and there but maybe in these quick settings but this is a little bit of bug which you have to admit so like in my case i will definitely choose this which is called illuminating light theme which is perfectly fine here so no issues here at all you can also customize your recent color tone icon pack or also you can choose the fonts if you want to like in my case i'm using this roboto sorry uh, sam one plus never slate font which are really impressive other things you already know about customizations i have already shown you sound and vibration have all the main features which you get in oneplus we have the oneplus tone option available which i have applied till now system sounds and touch vibration these kind of things you get here buttons and vibration have the same kind of things navigation bar and gestures i'm using the full screen gestures by hiding that navigation bar pill which you can also hide if you want to by going here hide the bottom bar as you can see it looks interesting and also you can enable this kind of thing if you want to all depends upon you you have all new choices so whichever thing you like you can choose that one going into security and lock screen we also have the face lock bug option available you cannot use the face lock unfortunately so just use the fingerprints if you want to fingerprint is perfectly fine here so no issues here at all it's quite impressive by the way talking about the battery backup it's perfectly fine no issues here at all in my case battery backup is perfectly fine here no extra drainage at all no extra drainage no overnight drainage nothing else is perfectly fine and you can use your device without having any issues in the terms of battery backup accounts digital well-being google utilities have the app locker and some more features which you get in oneplus and these kind of things i just wanted to share with you are perfectly fine here you can use them if you want to all these things i have 
already shown you so i hope you got to know about this latest oneplus oxygen os 6 build oxygen os from oneplus 6 the latest ported rom for redmi note 9 pro users the link for this build is in the description you can go and install this right now if you don't know how to install you will see the instructions there but i will try to make a separate video on how to install this build right now on redmi note 9 pro cortana thanks for watching goodbye